Today, we're gonna take a look at one of my most requested videos ever. Today, we're gonna take a look at Placeholder API. Now, if you've been checking out plugins for your Minecraft server, you've probably heard the name Placeholder API at least a few times. It is an extremely popular Minecraft API that allows you to add placeholders to your Minecraft server. And they're great. In most servers, they're just part of everyday life. There are not a lot of servers out there that don't use placeholders at all. So in today's video, I will be going over everything. What are placeholders? How do they work? And how do you get them set up on your Minecraft server? So before we start, do make sure to leave a like and also press that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. You would really help me out with doing that. You actually would. And then with it any further ado, let's dive right into this. So before I'm going to tell you everything about Placeholder API, I want to tell you about this video sponsor, Phoenix Plugins. They are great developers who have made some amazing Minecraft plugins like Phoenix Crates and Phoenix Lobby, as well as some epic looking model packs. Do for sure check them out through the link in the description and use code KAZASERA for a 15% off your order. Now with all that out of the way, it is time for Placeholder API. So in case you're completely unfamiliar, let me show you what placeholders are in the first place. Place. So a placeholder is basically a piece of text that holds a place for a piece of information. If that makes you even more confused, don't worry. I will explain. So here on the right of my screen, you will see a scoreboard. And that scoreboard is using four placeholders, where one of them is not working. It's a great example to see what a placeholder actually looks like. So what do placeholders do? Well, they hold the place for a piece of information. So there beneath player, it says Kasasura. Kasasura is my Minecraft username. If another Minecraft player would be looking at this same scoreboard, they would see their own Minecraft username. Now beneath my username, we got balance. And there you will see my current balance so the amount of money i now have on this server it is 100 if i would gain or lose money in any way it would be updated there now beneath that we got my rank now the reason it's not working is because i don't have any ranks installed this server is completely rank free so the placeholder doesn't know what kind of information to show and because of that it is just showing me the raw placeholder so this is actually what it looks like percent vault underscore groups percent and then beneath that we got the online players it is currently one if another player would join the server it would switch to two immediately so that's actually what a placeholder looks like now these are just a few very simple scenarios of what you can use placeholders for there are actually a ton of placeholders out there and many plugins come with their own placeholders as well now placeholder api is an api that comes with a a lot of placeholders. Now to just give you a little bit of an idea on how many placeholders Placeholder API actually houses, these are all the standalone placeholders and plugins Placeholder API is compatible with. So you can see, it's a lot. This page, by the way, is absolutely massive. I'm still scrolling. These are all placeholders. You can use all of these. It is actually madness. Now, something that's really important to know about Placeholder API is that on its own, it can do a whole lot. Placeholder API is... Well, like the name suggests, an API. In other words, you will need other plugins to actually benefit from the placeholders. So for example, a scoreboard plugin that is placeholder compatible, a tab list plugin that's placeholder compatible, a custom GUI plugin that's placeholder compatible, a hologram plugin that's placeholder compatible. It is all possible and completely up to you. Now for this video, I'm gonna take the scoreboard as an example, as it's a great way to show you how placeholders and placeholder API actually work. So the first thing you want to do is download placeholder api from spigot mc link will be in the description of this video simply click on download wait for a little bit and there you go go to your minecraft server folder and drag the placeholder api.jar file we just downloaded inside of your plugins folder after that simply reboot your minecraft server after joining the game again simply type slash pl to see if the plugin is successfully installed in our case it is which is perfect now this is the part of the tutorial where your imagination will actually have to take over so ask yourself this question what do you want to do with the placeholder now if you just want to show case for example a player's username then we're gonna look for a player placeholder there we go 
player. When we click on there, you will see all the player placeholders that are available. So this is all information that can be showcased in, for example, a scoreboard or a tab list or a custom GUI. So here we got, for example, player biome. What will this showcase? Well, it will showcase the biome a player is currently in. Then we got player first join date. It will, of course, display the date that the player first joined the server. Then player food level speaks for itself. Player game mode also speaks for itself. What game mode is the player in? Then player online. Is a certain player online on the server? Player is OP. It will show you if a player is OP, yes or no. Player level. What level is a player in? In general, the placeholders are pretty easy to understand and there's actually a lot of stuff you can do with only the player placeholders. It's pretty awesome. Now before I'm going to show you how to install and set up those player placeholders, if you're using a certain Minecraft plugin and you would want to display some information that comes from that plugin, it is worth checking if it has integrated compatibility with Placeholder API. So this is a list of all the plugins that are integrated with Placeholder API. They're actually quite a lot. So just as an example, here we got Grief Prevention. It's a plugin I'm using on my own Minecraft server. It's actually great. So when we click on there, we can see what type of placeholders this actually adds. So this placeholder over here, Grief Prevention Claims, is a placeholder that will actually show you the amount of claim blocks you have inside of your Minecraft server. So you're using Grief Prevention, you have 1000 claim blocks, then this placeholder will be able to showcase that. Now even better might be the remaining claim blocks. So after claims you've already made, how many claim blocks do you have remaining. That could be a really useful placeholder. Now besides grief prevention, there is a lot more. So maybe your favorite Skyblock plugin has integration. Maybe your favorite PvP plugin has integration. Multiverse Core also has integration. My Commands, which I recently made a tutorial about, also has integration. Look Perms, Power Ranks, even something like Playtime. All of these pretty big plugins are integrated with Placeholder API, which is awesome. So if you want to display a certain piece of information that one of these plugins houses then do for sure check out this list there's a big chance the plugin you're using is in here now like i said i want to use the player one so i think it would be really cool to have the biome i'm currently in being displayed inside of my scoreboard so that's what i'm going to be adding so we first want to download this placeholder api player expansion the way you want to do that is simply copy this command so on this page link will of course be in the description of this video you will need to look for the plugin or the category you want to download and then here on top, it will actually display a command. So PAPI eCloud Downloads. And after that, the name of the expansion. So I'm simply gonna select it, copy it. And here inside of Minecraft, we're simply gonna paste the command. PAPI eCloud Download Player. Press enter and there we go. Successfully downloaded expansion player. Make sure to type PAPI reload to enable your new expansion. So we're gonna type PAPI reload and bam, the placeholders are successfully installed. So now that we are actually able to use the player placeholders, we need to integrate them into something. So like I said, I'm gonna be using a scoreboard plugin. So if you wanna use a custom GUI plugin or a custom tab list plugin, or maybe a custom hologram plugin, then that is all completely up to you. As long as as they are compatible with placeholder api it should work now Cassisara, how do i know if a certain plugin is compatible with placeholder api well most of the times it will be displayed somewhere on their spigot page for many plugins placeholder api compatibility is a flagship feature so you should be able to find it somewhere on their spigot page or wherever you download the plugin from okay here we are back in my minecraft server folder we're simply gonna go to plugins after that i'm gonna go to simple score which is the scoreboard plugin i've installed and after that i'm going to scoreboard.yml. Open it up and over here I will be able to add placeholders. So here we got percent player percent which will show a player's username. Here we got percent vault eco balance percent which will show my current balance. Then we got the one we already saw so percent vault groups percent which will showcase the current group you're in. If you have any groups on your server that is. For me that's not the case but if you do have lookworms installed and vault then your groups will be shown this way. And then over here we got percent online percent, which will show the amount of online players. Now, like I said before, I want to see the biome I'm in inside of my scoreboard. So I'm gonna copy percent player biome percent, simply gonna copy it, and then I'm just gonna paste it over here. So the vault group prefix isn't working because I don't got look perms installed, so I can just override it. There we go. Percent player biome percent. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna change this text to biome like that, and then simply save 
save the file and restart your Minecraft server. And here we go. It is literally that easy. So now on the third spot on my scoreboard, you can see biome. We're currently inside of a deep frozen ocean. That's pretty cool. And now we're going to fly to, for example, here. Now we're in a deep ocean. And then when we go to here, we're inside of a plains biome. Now you might be like, Kessisura, it doesn't look like a plains biome. I know if you were. I know. I'm using a custom terrain plugin, which is why the biomes aren't always accurate. But believe me, in default Minecraft, they should all overlap perfectly fine. When you travel to a new biome, it will change in the scoreboard. I'm currently inside of a birch forest. I don't think I am. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not. And that is how placeholder API works. It might seem really complicated at first, especially if you've never worked with placeholders before. Though I hope, thanks to this video, you will understand a little bit better what placeholders are, how they work, and how to set them up on your Minecraft server. And then guys, that's gonna be it. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Wow, that looks actually really cool. You see that? It's awesome. You're on top of the hill. <laughs> It's really cool. I've been using Terraform for a while now, but I've never seen this. Epic. Okay. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Make sure to leave a like and also press that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. You would really help me out by doing that. You actually would. Now I'll leave a link to Placeholder API, the GitHub page with all the placeholders, as well as some plugins that you can use to display those placeholders in the description. And then that's gonna be it. I hope you have an amazing day. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.